It's almost Chinese New Year, which means family reunions and our Asian relatives with their loaded questions ready to ask about our personal lives. This is Katrina. She's talking about how her aunties are going to ask her if she's got a boyfriend yet. Katrina gets shy. That's Helena. She's telling Katrina not to stress loud because she's got loads of time. And that's Arisa. She has her own secrets on how to be the perfect single lady this year. So, this is how you do it. Know your manners. You gotta be a classy lady when receiving your red packet. Always use two hands when receiving your license. And know your greeting phrase. Gong hei fa choi. Hold up. Never open your red packet in front of the people who just gave it to you. It's bad luck, so pay them your respect. Be adaptable. In Hong Kong, we're always on the run. Our time is an investment, and plans can 360 in a second if you don't react quick. To keep up in this city, be ready to show up at any given moment, and let men do the chasing. Some may say it's self-indulgent. I like to think of it as simply knowing your value and never apologizing for it. What can I say? We like to live fast. Know your foods. It's the year of the pig, and no Kanto household will take you in if you don't know the local roast. There's cha siu fang, cha siu cheng fang, a cha siu bao, and a cha siu belly. Also, please know how to use your chopsticks. You can't look uncultured at the dinner table, so if you haven't used them before, your practice starts now. There's turnip cake for good fortune, dumplings for wealth, and noodles for longevity and happiness. And don't worry, if you don't find someone in time, at least you can show everyone that you've got good taste. Happy Chinese New Year. I'm not a I got a more like it's